These are the hormonal effects of surgical stress. So these are hormonal changes that you might see in a patient after surgery. After surgery, the pituitary gland becomes less responsive to GnRH, which can lead to a low FSH or low LH state, and both of these can suppress reproductive function. They'll also have decreased testosterone production and increased testosterone clearance, leading to decreased testosterone concentrations in the blood. They'll have decreased estrogen concentrations as well in premenopausal women, so this can cause amenorrhea. And of course, this decreased testosterone and estrogen can also suppress your reproductive function as well. Surgical stimulus and impulses at the operative site can then send a signal to the hypothalamus, which causes an increased sympathetic response. This has a variety of effects throughout the body. In the adrenal medulla, you'll increase your secretion of epinephrine. In the pancreas, you'll increase your secretion of glucagon. You'll also have increased CRH, which leads to increased ACTH and high cortisol levels. This can stimulate gluconeogenesis and hyperglycemia. Your posterior pituitary will also initially increase the release of ADH. Lastly, some associated stressors that might come along with surgery are anxiety, hypotension, hypothermia, and in the case of trauma, you can have hypercarbia and burns.